This little device yep. captures data like vibration, temperature, and all kinds of movement information. And this is installed on industry assets all over the world. So think of these as nerve endings of industry. And uptake is the brain. Uptake takes those data from the nerve endings and offers our software platform and our data science to deliver insights right. to the front lines of industry globally. So I like to think of you as... Where do you, where do you put those things on? No, the, so these exist on wind turbines, on locomotives, on all kinds okay. of assets. It's and like the fit, Fitbit of, the, of, of industrial machines. This is it. machines. We're the, 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 the assets wear this, and we are the ones uptake software and products give insight to the front lines of industry all over the world. So you, Making industry smart is the, the way I say it. Uh, so you've, you've done some uh, business with Caterpillar. Uh, did have an exclusive deal with them originally. We had a, we had a, a very connected partnership, right. and what we've done is realign that, and we've bought back their equity, so now we are totally neutral across every brand, every type of asset, in every industry. And now you're also doing uh, work with Berkshire Hathaway's energy business? Yes, Berkshire Hathaway, and we're in, we're in the manufacturing space, we're in oil and gas, we're in mining, so we are now in eight industries globally, and we're delivering, as I said, Insight in six continents. Right. We're, we're still not in Antarctica, but we'll, we'll get there someday. And then I saw recently uh, that you're involved uh, in a smart city project in Rhode Island. We are. So I, buses should not break down, and therefore you should not miss the, miss the meeting because you couldn't get there. And our, our technology helps the Rhode Island Transit Authority understand what the condition of their buses are so they can fix them before they break. So it's about predictive insight and advanced maintenance and also optimization in industries like oil and gas and mining where every minute, every hour that the assets are not productive is a lost hour. And also people are not replaced, right. they are enhanced. So we're about making the people that are part of these industries superhuman. So I mean, that sounds like a super safety factor too, if you notice that the, something's wobbling on the train or on one of these super turbines. Absolutely. You get it before it falls off. You know, our four value drivers, our four sources of value delivery are productivity, reliability, cybersecurity, and human safety. Mm -hmm. and, and really environmental safety in a bigger sense because we're talking about optimizing the condition of these right. assets and making sure that they work so appropriately. So who do you think of as your competitor? I, and, and, and I'm going to name one of them who's been in our news a lot. General Electric made a big thing of being the Internet of Things for industry. It is, the, the times are interesting because I, I, I'm looking at what I think is the greatest opportunity for technology to create value ever. Global value creation from technology through predictive analytics in industry is as big as I've ever seen. And at the same time, GE has now said that they're going to focus on just a handful of applications. But so IBM I, says stuff just like it. There's that commercial where they talk about showing up to fix the, the right. elevator before you know right. it's broken. Uh, my, my, my belief is that an entrepreneurial focus is the right one for creating technology. And I also believe that this is a unique time because in the last five years, technology has changed in terms of its ability to enable a company like Uptake to do our job beautifully. Okay. So we are competing against these big companies. Right. We are unique in terms of being uh, a relatively small player and 800 plus people, but we're talking about 800 phenomenally talented and focused people, and that, that, that's a winning formula in a lot of... Let, let me ask you a question. question. This eventually is going to be a commodity business, with apologies yes. even to the Fitbit folks, right? That is, it's, it's, it's a consumer product. I know you're not a consumer product, but nonetheless, the value proposition, I have to imagine, is in the data and the analysis of okay. the data? I, totally. The, the value proposition is efficient ability to take that data from assets all over the world and the data science that delivers insights. So the value is in the insight and the delivery of industry-specific, industry-relevant insights right. to the front lines. That's and, what we do. And how are you, though, going to compete against, to the extent that they get in your world, um, Google and Amazon and everybody else who's investing serious money in deep learning, machine learning, AI, to be able to look through, sort, and analyze this data at a level, frankly, that I think is far beyond what most people are doing right now. We compete in the same way that great competitors win, which is focus. Execution and focus. And the more we execute and focus on serving right now eight industries, delivering insights, what you find is that we get better and better over time. It becomes harder to compete and our focus doesn't sway. Right. So it's, it's about execution. But let me ask you a separate question then. Is the long-term goal of your company to be a publicly traded entity, or would you be very happy if Jeff Bezos or Google or somebody called you up and said, hey, let's, let's do this? 
my focus is growth, is execution, because you're, you're, right. the, the passion that I have for what we're doing is off the right. charts, because I've never, I've been doing, right. I've been building companies for 25 years. There's nothing, right. nothing I've ever seen like industrial insight.